Hello, my name is June Hill. I'm a research scientist at CSIRO. I developed the Data Mosaic program to help geologists interpret numerical drill hole data. Then we developed a web app to allow easy access to these methods. In this tutorial, I will show you how to get started with the Data Mosaic web app and upload data. When you first access the home page, you will be required to log in. You can access the help documents from the menu on the home page. Here you can find information on how Data Mosaic works and how to prepare your data before importing it to the web app. Use the home menu button to return to the main page. To upload your data, either select data sets from the menu or select the big blue get started button at the bottom of the page. This takes you to the data upload page. The list of data sets we have uploaded will appear in the pane on the left. These can be hidden using the lines icon. We have provided some test data for you to learn how to use the web app. First I will demonstrate using the test data. Use the drop down menu on the top right of this pane. Click on the arrow and select the Artemis data set. This is XRF data collected using the Minilizer core scanner. We then select Fetch to upload the data set. The data set name has been auto populated but can be edited if required. Ignore this big pale blue box for now. This is for uploading your own data. I will come back to show you how to use this. The right hand area in this pane below the blue box shows a preview of your data. The data is arranged in rows and columns. Each row represents one sample. Each column has a header. To the left, you need to indicate to the program what type of data you have and which are the whole ID and depth columns. First, choose whether you have point or interval data. Interval data must have a depth from and a depth to column. In this case, we have interval data, so we choose interval. The program tries to guess which is your whole ID column and which are the depth columns. Check and choose the correct names. Then you need to select the variables you're going to analyse. The number of variables you choose will affect the speed of the analysis, so choose carefully. In this case, I only have a few variables, so I will select all of them. I do not have a geology log, so I choose no at this stage. The geology log does not affect the analysis. However, if you upload a geology log, then you can plot it to compare to the analysis results. Then I select the big blue Create Dataset button. This will upload my data and check that the data is in good order. If your data is not in good order, then you'll get an error message. Please read the help documents carefully so that you prepare your data correctly before uploading. Now I will show you how to import point data. In our test data sets, we have some downhole gamma data. I choose the data set from the test data drop down box and select fetch. Notice that the data set name has been updated. Because this is point data, we check that the data type is point data. There is only one column now with depth information. 
we check that the columns are correctly assigned. And then we choose the variable. In this case, there's only one variable. Once again, we have no geology log, so we leave the default option of no. Finally, I select the big blue Create Dataset button to upload and check my data. To import your own data, use the pale blue box. You can upload CSV or Excel files. Note that there's currently a file size limitation for the free version of Data Mosaic. To upload your file, press the dark blue Select File button. You will get a browsing window. Navigate to your file and open it. Please check the help documents shown here in the right hand pane to correctly format the file. Wait until your file uploads and the preview is shown. Now enter a dataset name at the top. Here is your file preview. The data is from the Mineral Systems Drilling Program in South Australia. It is public data. The next step is to select the data type. In this case, it is interval data. It is necessary to identify the columns that contain whole ID and depth information. The program will try to automate this if you have labelled the columns appropriately. Next, you need to select the variables that you wish to analyse. Click on the drop down arrow. In this case, I'm just going to select titanium and niobium. I have a geology log that I want to plot, so I'll upload this as well. I click yes. This brings up a new upload box. Choose the dark blue Select File button. Navigate to your geology log, choose it and open it. Please check the help documents to ensure that you correctly format the file. Once again, it is necessary to identify the columns. The program will try to automate this if you have labelled the columns appropriately. Finally, click on the dark blue Create Dataset button. If this button is greyed out, then you have not filled in all the required information on this page. Go back over the page and check what you have missed.